Bonjour à tous. In this video, we will be learning about imparfait. That is the past tense we, which we generally study in our DELF A2. So first of all, let's understand the difference between passé composé, that is my simple past, and imparfait, which is my imperfect tense. So generally, students get confused between these two tenses. So let's understand the difference. In passé composé, my action is already terminated, but in imparfait, my action is still continued or it could be a habit. In passé composé, we do the conjugations by using avoir and être plus participasse. But in imparfait, the conjugations are entirely different. So what happens with my past tense? It is... Je suis allé au marché. I went to the market. You can also understand this that in passé composé, I generally use the second form of the verb that we use in English. And in imparfait, in English, if I translate, my most of the sentences will be with ing or used to. The imperfect tense is used less in English than in French. It is used to describe activities in the past. The imperfect tense is used to indicate actions begun in the past but not necessarily completed. Second is the descriptions in past. The imperfect tense is used to describe conditions or circumstances that accompanied a past action or to designate a condition in the past that no longer exists. For example, quand j'étais petit, when I was little. So we are not even talking or we don't even know that at what time we are talking about it or which time we are talking about it or am I still little or not. So my imperfect tense, my imperfect is a continued, that is ing, my habitual action that is used to in English. The descriptions in past. So now let's see the formation of imperfect. The imperfect tense is formed by dropping the ONS ending from the first person of the present tense of NU and adding the endings AIS, AIS, AIT, I O N S I E Z and A I E N T. For example, E R verb that is parler, the base will be nu parla, and I will cut O N S and my radical will be P A R L. So my conjugation will be je parle, tu parle, il elle a parle, nu parlions. Vous parliez. Il, elle parle. So, my pronunciation only changes with nu and vous. With finir, the base will be finissant. Je finissais. Tu finissais. Il, elle en finissait. Nous finissions. Vous finissiez. Il, elle finissait. Same we will be doing with are e verbs so we need to remember that my base will be the conjugation of present tense of nu i will cut ons and i'll be putting these endings to make imperfect french is full of exceptions isn't it but we are quite lucky with imperfect because in imparfait, there is only one exception. Yes, and that is etro. And it is quite easy to remember that with etro, there is one root. That is et. So, jete, tu ete, il, el, on, ete, nous étions, vous étiez, il, zete, el, zete. So this is only one exception. To make your life easy, 
we have one PDF that you can download from our website that is www.frenchhub.com and there you will get entire notes of Mparfait with lots of exercise. So do visit our website. So now let's read this text which is written in Mparfait. Tule mate silvi se ruvaye asis ar. El reste opo oli etel se leve asis ar edemi. Seta se tot purel. El trene sa douche e el sabie. Ensuite, el trene sa pati tejene. Pendant sa pati tejene, El lise opo e etel ekute la radio. Apre avua tri son pati dejene, el sakupe de se plant wet. Ensuite, el se prepare pour parti o trouvai. El se brosse le don. El se makaye. El mette son monto. A El parte au travail. El parte de chez elle à sept heures et quart. Avant de commencer son travail, elle prenait un café avec Julia, son collègue. Elle travaille de huit heures à midi. Le soir, Elle mangeait en regardant la télé. Après avoir regardé son programme préféré, elle faisait la vaisselle et elle téléphonait à une amie. Ensuite, elle se démarquait et elle prenait son bain. Elle y restait pendant une heure. Après le bain, elle se séchait longuement. Les cheveux. Et après se tête séché, les cheveux, elle se couchait. Elle lisait un peu avant de s'endormir. Elle s'endormait vers minuit. 